deep thoughts for today. I'm out in Western Mass. Got a little overlook just outside of Belcher, Massachusetts, in Amherst. So I had to go to the university today for court order. But people don't realize how vast and beautiful Massachusetts is. Everyone just thinks it's Boston and the surrounding towns. You get past the middle half of Massachusetts, and there is nothing out here. I literally went through this small town that had a blinking light, and that was the center of the town. The world is beautiful. take time to appreciate it I also stopped at uh, the overlook for Quabbin Reservoir I didn't get out it was just too noisy to film anything it's car traffic on route 2 but I'll throw some pictures in there and the signs a little quick video get out get some fresh air even in the winter Christian from Northeast 360. Keep moving forward, everybody. Enjoy your day. Winter's coming. Here is a few pictures of the overlooks that I traveled to and stopped in at. Uh, Quabbin Reservoir, as a little history, uh, is a man made reservoir. It started in the 1930s, straight through the mid 30s. Um, it gets its name from a Native American tribe by the name of Nipmew. I'm sorry if I butchered that. The Nipmew tribe was there for thousands of years up until the 17th century where their population had declined and disseminated due to war and disease and famine. Uh, the area was rapidly settled by Europeans for its rich farmland. And a lot of it is still in use for agricultural as of today. Uh, the four towns that were impacted were Prescott, Dana, Greenwich, and Enfield. Um, these towns on April 27th, 1938 at midnight ceased to exist. Um, the old wives tale of just flooding the area was not exactly true uh, they did remove a lot of the buildings uh, they moved a lot of buildings destroyed a lot of buildings including personal homes and farms displacing 2500 people from their homes uh, this next picture is the last surviving structure before the flood that was disassembled. This is the Enfield Town Hall, uh, which then became the construction site for what we know today as the Windsor Dam. Uh, the Windsor Dam's construction took several years. Uh, it is vast. Uh, here's a shot of its completion in black and white. Um, you can tour it. It's a wonderful site. You can see the spillways. Uh, there is a couple of monuments that are great photo opportunities. Um, it's just a great place to check out. Uh, later on, you'll see a the spillway. And there is a visitor's center. Now, for a couple little facts, it is 81,000 acres combined acreage of water and land owned and managed by DCR 
and DWSP. In 1927, clearing of the valley began. In 1938, the reservoir began to fill. Uh, the four towns were completely disassembled and basically vanished underwater. In 1946, the reservoir finally reached its capacity. Uh, Three million mass residents drink this water today. Uh, at a rate of 199.98 million gallons on average daily use. This was a report in 2018. The Quabbin Reservoir is a wonderful place that you can go and hike. This is the spillway, as you can see, uh, that connects to the water filtration and treatment plant further away. Uh, this is the visitor center, which has a layout of the wonderful and beautiful history of the area, artifacts that have been found, and pictures in depth. I'll leave links to those items uh, and the Massachusetts website. Um, this place is a wonderful place to go hike, hunt in the surrounding areas, fishing, bicycling, picnicking. There is no camping allowed. Uh, you cannot use drones. You cannot swim in those waters. Horses, dogs, or other domestic animals are not allowed. Camping and fires are not allowed. You can see the brochure site. But there are surrounding areas in Belcher and in different parts of the towns that connect to it still that you can go have fun, camp, and then take your day hikes, day trips, picnics in that local area. Uh, this is Christian from Northeast 360. Keep moving forward. Get out there, even in the winter. Have fun.